Hi, my name is Todd Darling. I am the director of A Snowmobile for George that appeared here at the Ashland Independent Film Festival. It just ended. And what is your film? My, uh, the name of my film is A Snowmobile for George, and it played to a couple of screenings here in Ashland. It was a, it was a great time, great audiences. And I'd like to thank my friends Bob and Julie DeKiro for helping me out with the uh, uh, with everything here in town. It's been great. They're great people. Have you been to Ashland before? Uh, I've, I've driven through Ashland, yeah. So I've, I've, uh, I was in Ashland while I was making the film for a little while. Oh, really? Yeah, no. I, I slept on, a, on the DeKiro's uh, De spare room while making the film. Well, how, how was it to come back to Ashland then? It's great. I mean, there's, you know, it's a great thing to be accepted into a festival. You know, to get to get the invitation to the party is always a good thing. And uh, but you never know how a film festival will go. And this one's been very friendly, very well organized, and they've been very kind to all the filmmakers. I had a comfortable place to sleep and good food to eat. I, it's great. Life should be this good all the time. So tell me a little bit about your film. A Snowmobile for George is a cross-country road trip that takes a look at four different stories that had to do with deregulation of the environment. And it's, uh, but it's an environmental film, but it's not a lecture from a smart guy telling the audience to eat their vegetables. It's a, um, it's a film about people who've had to be on the receiving end of changes in regulations. And so it's the story of fishermen, Cowboys, firemen, and the family's smoky two-stroke snowmobile. And something significant happened at one of your Q&As. What is that? Yeah, kind of an amazing thing happened here in Ashland at the first screening. Uh, there's a story in the film about the Klamath River, and about in 2002 there was a, a huge tragedy that occurred on the Klamath River because too much water got sent to irrigators and there wasn't enough left in the river for the fish to, to swim upstream to spawn, the salmon. And that was kind of the culmination of a, of a probably a, a conflict that's gone on for a hundred years between the Indian tribes that live on the, the, the river and people upstream. And as a result of this tragedy and the fact that the Bush administration had taken advantage of these divisions to divide people and to get votes. Both sides realized that they had been, the one side in particular, I, I think, realized that they had to come together and solve this locally and to find, to, to, to bridge the gap between themselves. And at the film uh, screening, uh, a representative of the Yurok tribe and a representative of the irrigation district in the Upper Klamath Basin got up and talked to the audience about how they are now in a process of, of coming to some compromises and about taking down some of the dams on the river and to building a sustainable community sort of throughout the river, the top and the bottom. And it's an amazing thing that this is happening. I mean, this is a major movement in a conflict that's 100 years old. So that was the audience when, when these two people that had been on the screen as antagonist that came down and spoke to them directly about how they're trying to bridge this gap now, standing side by side. It was kind of a transcendent moment for everybody. I mean, everybody in the audience was kind of looking at them, kind of slack-jawed that this was occurring. So it was really, it was really a beautiful thing. And I, I, this could have only happened here at the Ashland Film Festival because it's, you know, in the area. And, you know, it was, it was very, it was very gratifying for me and I think for a lot of people who live here to see this happen. So, thanks to... Pardon? Anything else you want to share? Um, Ashland's a great place. Take care of it. Have fun. And um, take a look and uh, you know, keep, a, keep a close eye on your own backyard. That's it. Thanks very much.